Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, a software manager here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce the new improvements that we've made to model sharing in Tecla Structures version 2024. So here I am in the Tecla model sharing management console. This is where admins can manage and control all their projects. And if you go over on the left hand side to the about section, it will load the release notes that document the features that we've added. So the first one that I want to highlight is that we've added support for geolocations, which means that you can now control where the model data is stored. You have four options to define those regions. The admin in the management console can define a default model data storage location, and you have the option to allow users to select any geolocation or restrict them just to the default that you've defined. We've added advanced filtering so that you can more easily filter the models list and the user list based on advanced criteria. And we've added this new set user role functionality where a user can be set to, define, to a defined role for selected models. And I'll show you how the filtering and that set user role functionality will come in handy on your projects. We want to highlight that there's been a policy change where it's no longer required that at least one user has the owner role on your projects. If there are no owners on the project, the administrators can access that model using the management console and they can modify any roles as needed. We also have the download progress as you can see there. So if you're downloading projects from the management console, you'll now see the status as defined in that picture. So let me switch over to a management console. This is just a test account that I can use for demonstration purposes. And over here on the left hand side, if I go over here, you can see that we have the organization settings section that's been added. And this is where you can define the default model data storage location. If you hit the drop down, you can see the four options, Australia, Asia, Europe, and North America. And then right below that is the option where you can allow users to select any geolocation or you can restrict them just to use the default storage location that you've defined as the administrator. So what that looks like in Tecla Structures, if I launch Tecla Structures version 2024 and I come over here to the sharing option and start sharing, you can see in the dialog box we have this new model data storage location option that's been added to the dialog. And if you hit the drop down, you see those same four options so that you can define that location before you start sharing your project. That corresponds to the options that we have in Trimble Connect. So if we take a look at that real quick and I come here to start collaboration, you can see the same four options under the project server location. So now all of your data stored in Trimble Connect and in model sharing can be stored within the same geographic region. So let's go back to the management console here. I'll go ahead and minimize that and let's go up to the models list and I can introduce how these advanced filters work. So we also have the set user role and I'll show you how these can be used together. So over here on the right hand side under advanced filtering, if I go ahead and click that, you can see all of the different options now that you can use to filter the list. So if you have tons of projects like you can see here in this, uh, you can come in and type in uh, names, email addresses, or whatever pertinent data into the filter. And this list will dynamically be filtered to match that criteria. If you want to filter all of the projects that are owned by a user, you can start typing in their information. For example, I'll type in Dustin and you can see that it's dynamically filtered these three projects that Dustin is the owner of. And then I can check their users and you can see there it's listed Dusty as the owner. I'm an editor, Dave's an editor, and this test account is a viewer. So if we wanted to change or modify that, we can select all of these projects or just individual projects, click on set user role, and now I can type in information for who I want to set a new role for. So I'll type in my email address and set myself as the owner for these three projects. And then it'll go through, tell me if that was successful or not. And then I can close that and double check. And now I can see that Dusty's still an owner and now I'm an owner on all three of these projects. And if I want, I can change Dusty's information right here. Or of course, we still have the functionality where we could go over to the users list and we could just remove access from that individual user. So for example, here I can select Dusty and remove access and he'd be removed from those three models. But using the advanced filters here on the model list allows me a lot more options to be able to find information. So here, if I wanted to find information about uh, Dave 
as an editor, I can easily type in his name and I can see this single project here where he's an editor. And I can use all of these filters at once so I don't have to just use one item. So if I wanted to use multiple items, I could start typing in and filling out that information. So for example, if I wanted to find all of the projects that I was an owner on, I can type in my information here. And then I can use any of this other criteria. So let's say I wanted to find all of the projects that I'm an owner of in version 2024. So you can see that it's dynamically filtered out just this single project in the background there. And then if I need to change anything about that, of course I can, but uh, these filters allow for a lot more flexibility than what we've had in the past. So if you'd like to learn more, you can always go to our security white papers. These are found in our trust center on the website. We've updated our Tecla model sharing security white paper to version 1.7. And if you go in and open up that, you can see down towards the bottom, we have the Tecla model sharing data center geographic location information. So you can read more about that, see where the location is stored and answer any of those questions that you need from that document. So as always, we invite you to try this out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.